Hey guys, so this is what we are dealing with. <laughs> let me put half of it down and we will go from there. Hey guys, let me just sit myself down. So today we're going to do, it's kind of like a two part also. So first things first, my brows are super dark. I didn't fill them out like this. I had them microbladed, so they're healing and they're super, super bright. But I thought I'm gonna record this video before I put the books away. So then it's ready and then I don't just mess around with everything. So we just came back and I have, I picked up five books today but I also have a little unboxing. I went and got to see my best friend. If you watched my vlog you would have known that I said that I would be seeing her. So my wonderful best friend got me a little engagement slash birthday gift. And so I'm gonna show you what I got. The first things first I did want to show and I will put who did it. It's like Arode, I think it's called. So it's the Crescent City because um, my best friend seen my vlog if you guys haven't seen it. This book made me sob, so she got me a little pot. How cute is that? Did I not tell you guys that I wanted some merch um, that's kind of book related? So I think I'm gonna put like my bookmarks in here. So it's definitely going to go on my shelf. It's so pretty. Oh, you can't see her. You can't see her. I'll put it like here. Can you see it there? There we go. So that was the first thing that she got me and then I'll show you the whole, um, whole box after. So, the first things first, again, from a charity store. So, this is a real, a real love. It's called Real Love. Um, so, this talks all about, it's more for, like, my schoolwork. It talks about the truth about finding a, a unconditional love and long-lasting relationships, which, because I'm doing a person-centered counseling, I do want to maybe do a relationship counseling course afterwards or like top up my degree with that because I think it's really really interesting not just within a romantic relationships but within yourself and with others so I feel like that would be great and I just thought I really like it just spoke to me I bought it almost two pounds like come on guys um because I know that someone is gonna be like oh my god you're buying another another lots of books like you literally just did like three hauls this month and I know but like I've mentioned before, like today I went in and it was, um, it's via Schwab, something about Addie, um, like her story, like that book was 18 pounds. Like I paid less for all the books that I bought today. Um, and probably yesterday, uh, for the price of one. So yeah, it is a little excessive, but at the same time, I usually do buy secondhand books. So that's my disclaimer. Second book, again, is a nonfiction. It talks about Freudian slips. So all the psychology you need um, to know, which again, that's what I study. I study counseling and psychotherapy. So, and it had like great little almost refresher. So I have another three weeks. So that's my, I'm going to pick it up literally today. Um, those two books are going to be like my next before I go back to uni, what I want to read. So those are the two that I wanted to like kind of get out of um out of the way so this one is the memory wood the memory wood oh my goodness i'm just trying to take the labels off um so this one so elijah stumbles across this um elisa elisa girl who has been captured in the middle of like forest she, she was running away he's he hasn't had a friend in a super long time she's trying to run away from her abductor and she's kind of stuck with him. He has like this weird obsession about her. That's the kind of vibe that I got. So I thought cabin in the middle of the woods. Someone's been kidnapped. Weird friendship because she's like 13 or something like that. And this dude is an adult. So I thought thriller is starting to get like gloomy. I thought it would be great for like a weekend reading vlog. Um, and I've been asked about horror book recommendations. So I will also if you guys have any let me know because I would love to read something that isn't as slashery gory as I usually read but more of like a suspense but I guess that's more of a thriller so pick that one up the second one is for the longest time again sorry for the price so the silent, silent patient um I think Beth recommended it but I've also seen it all over um and that is probably fourth time I was going to pick this book up it's been all over even the charity shops and I was like mm, I don't know Basically, a lady shoots her husband. She shot him five years ago, and ever since, she hasn't spoken. Um, apparently, absolutely amazing. It says, only she knows what happened. Only I can make her speak. So, sounded amazing. Um, I don't know why I hesitated for so long to get it. So, now I have it, and I'm super excited. 
again, quite high on my to, to want to read list. And that one is, again, if you guys are on like horror books, that is super, super hyped up book. It's um, a tale of revenge, cultural um, identity, and a cost of breaking from tradition. And the latest novel from blah, 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 horror literature. So it is like a horror about, I think every year they like kill a stag or something like that and then they are being haunted something around those lines don't quote me on that but again it has been recommended so many times and it was 150 it was like a pop-up shop um i picked it up so those were the main ones then i want to show you guys what i got in my ooh, birthday box from my best friend so bless her heart she got me a little happiness journal she was like oh i thought you you might enjoy it so it basically gives you different like different tips and different things to do. So like wreck your journal, but for adults. So for example, think about the time when you were happy and use this space to provide to describe it. What made a happy experience? Choose some words to describe how you felt. For example, warm, safe, loved might come to mind. And so it's very great if you struggle with anxiety. It might be a good way to have a doodle. So like one day, one page a day you could follow or when you're having a bad day is something where you put your favorite show on it for the 45 minutes that you're watching your episode. You just do a, a page. So she did that. She got me then a Fairy Loot exclusive um, Aiko um, candle, which again, smells so freaking good. I don't even know what scent it is. Does it say? It smells like kind of, oh, cranberry, peach, citrus, vanilla. So freaking good. And this is how the packaging looks like. I, I just thought it was really cute. And like I said, I said the other day that I really wanted to get like little... Just some little itty bitty things from my bookshelf because it just looks really plain. Then Snow and Love, uh, love it. It's just very like a clean scent. So that was it. She got me some like cute hot chocolate. She got me some um, flower seeds because we love my plants. I, I love my plants. So I have a garden now so I can actually do it. A little coffee tea. So I actually might put all of my little drinks in my little pot. She got... Ooh, I dropped everything. Um, she got me this cute little bookmark because my biggest friend is amazing. And she also got me this book, which to my surprise, I actually have, which is not bad because this cover is so much prettier, is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Um, so we're going to do this as our October read. If, you, if any of you wants to read it um, and join us for October, that's what I'm going to be reading in October for sure. Um, I have the whole series, but I didn't have this cover and that is beautiful. So I'm probably going to use these two together. I just thought this is iconic. So that was the box and there's another little pin. So, so she basically made like a whole entire bookish box for me. How cute is that? And then if you guys haven't seen my blog and I don't know how much I included, I got a couple of books the other day and I was going to put put it in the vlog. I might have put it in the vlog. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. I just think if I didn't, I'm just going to put it here. So, so the next one is, that is from the other day. So this is the Seven Deaths of Evelyn, Evelyn Hardcastle. So there's a lady and she's been, she's died like hundreds of times. And this time she's trying to prevent her death yet again, or find who murdered her. And the guy that usually is supposed to show up to save her is in a different body or something like that. So again, super popular, seen it in Waterstone today, um, but I've picked it up the other day for, I think it was 99p. So I thought, um, why freaking not? Um, Beth has mentioned um, Karen Slaughter, so the silent wife. So a woman runs alone in the woods. She's convinced herself she's safe. He watches, but, as, but a predator is watching from the shadows, waiting for the per perfect moment to attack. He waits. They thought they caught him, but another victim's body is found. So again, Beth said that she absolutely loved her. I had an opportunity to buy another like seven books of her today, but I thought I really need to pick this one up. I have another one of her. Actually, I think I have two more of her. Um, so I thought I will give a couple a go because actually a lot of the charity shops, they have her books. So I might see if I like it. The next one that I picked up for this book haul is an American marriage. So there's a couple, he is, uh, is he a broker or something like that? Or he's an executive and the wife is like a um, artist. 
and he gets accused of a crime sentenced to 12 years and I'm guessing that's their story. I don't usually read just like contemporary stories but I thought that that was a great place to put yourself in as I'm newly engaged and we've had this conversation about like going to jail several times with my fiance about like what would you do? I'm like well it kind of depends what you've done. Did I know about it? Did I not know about it? So and that was another book that I picked up. Then we have The Woman in the Window, which there's a story about a lady, for some reason she hasn't left her house in like a year or something like that. And then there's this guy, this family that moves across the road, that she can keep watching them from her house or whatever. They seem perfect. And then one night she hears sh like shouting or screams from the house and she's like, will they believe me? Or, you know, she, I'm guessing she's the only witness. Again, quite popular. I literally paid 50p for it. So why freaking not? Um, again, feel like it would be a great vibe for like a full winter read. Then again, another more of like a contemporary story that I usually wouldn't buy. But for 50p, um, let's just say that I might have bought it because of the cover. Like the cover was beautiful. So we have a story of Emmett, I think that's his name. And he works in this, he's like a binders apprentice so basically people can come around and tell you their secrets their story their, their regrets whatever and you bind it into a book and you put it in like a storage place like a library of your mistakes basically um and then one day he finds out that there's a book with his name on it so i'm guessing we go into to see what happens um it didn't think that it would be something i would maybe go spend 15 pounds for and put on first thing on my tbr but i did think that it was quite interesting um, like not knowing they have a book of regrets, basically. Oh, we're not gonna fit. Oh, so the next one is a book that I'm actually hoping to read before I go to college, which is The Touch of Darkness. It's me and Leah's pick for September. So is a Persephone. Uh, she's a god of, of spring by title only. I'm guessing it's her and Hades's like a love story. I heard there's like a retelling a lot of smut. So it's very, very high up on my, um, I cannot wait to get to this probably next read kind of situation. Um, and it had eight stickers. I'm going to take them off as well. And the last one is Daughters of the Lake. So we have a lady, Kate, she goes, um, so Kate just her marriage just broke. She is going back to her parents, like, at the lake. I think that's where her parents' estate is. So she goes over. There's a massive lake. And then all of a sudden, there's a body that appears in the lake. And no one in the entire town knows who who is this woman besides Kate. Because she's seen this lady before in her dreams. So I feel like that's, again, a little bit more of, a, like, a thrillery situation. But again, it's quite high on my I want to read the next kind of list. So let me know if you read any of those books. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, um, I don't shop for books all the time. And if I do, a lot of the time it is secondhand books. So don't feel like you have to go and buy books all the time, which I, I know that a lot of the time when I read comments of like bigger creators, they do get a lot of slack for showing the books. But at the same time, you know, they get a lot of books sent, like, I paid for every single one of those books myself, but like I said, a lot of them, like, 99% have been from a second-hand store, um, so yes, that's, that's it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed, I know it's been a little rumbly, but I just really, I just came back, and I really wanted to share it with you before I put everything aside, as I don't really like doing very collective, um, hauls, because ain't nobody got time to sit here for 45 minutes, for me to talk about books I haven't read. So if you've read any of those books, please let me know down below, but please don't spoil it for anyone. If you can give us a little yes, I enjoyed it, no, I didn't, let us know down below and we will go from there. And then if you'd like to see any reading vlogs for those books, let me know down below. And until the next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.